Good, happy Tuesday evening, July 28, 2015. I'm Riley King, and welcome to the Riley King Newscast right here on the Riley King News Network. Let's get started now. First up, NFL keeps Tom Brady's suspension at four games. Tom Brady's four-game suspension for his role in using undeflated footballs during the AFC Championship game has been upheld by the NFL Commissioner Roger Good Goodell. Manchester man accused of physically and sexually assaulting woman. A Manchester man has been accused of physically and sexually assaulting a woman outside a church early Tuesday morning. Ricky Morrissey, 52, was arrested after a Manchester police officer spotted someone peeking out from behind St. Andrew's Expectable Church on Main Street and turned down in alley to take a look. Police said the officer found Morrissey on the ground next to a 53-year-old woman. There is a public forum on heroin in Manchester. Manchester's police chief is hosting a forum for the public to talk about those who are adversely affected by opia and heroin addiction. Clinton addresses world range of issues but won't talk about Keystone Pipeline. Hillary Clinton Clinton, in her third campaign trip to New Hampshire this month, laid out her proposal on energy and environmental to a repetitive town hall audience Tuesday, but refused to tell a voter or members of the media her position on the Keystone XL pipeline. She said that voters can expect no answer from her on the conversational project unless and until she becomes president. Prison worker Joyce Mitchell pleads guilty in escape of two killers. A northern New York prisoner worker pleaded guilty Tuesday to smuggling hacksaw blades in frozen hamburg meat to two killers who later broke out and spent more than two weeks on the run. New Hampshire Supreme Court rules in couples favor over attempt to issue Pat's Peak. The New Hampshire Supreme Court has ruled in favor of a couple who attempted to sue Pat's Peak Ski Resort over a chairlift fall, but those who complained was dismissed for failing to give proper notice. Officials to escape inmates taken back into custody. Two inmates who walked away from a transitional housing facility in Manchester last week have been taken back into custody, according to authorities. And that does it for the Riley King Newscast right here on the Riley King News Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Tuesday night. Good night, everyone. Bye.